Farmers in Louisville are taking advantage of one of the great things about trade shows, which is the ability to connect with the management at these organizations. Well, Max is no different. He had a chance to stop by the Case IH booth and talk to their folks about just what this year looks like from their perspective. Okay. Uh, Mike, we thoroughly enjoyed walking around the show at Louisville and meeting so many farmer friends and a number of equipment booths there. For example, at Case IH, we had the chance to look at their display that was just jammed with new equipment. And we talked with Kurt Coffey. Uh, we're coming off of a really, really good year, so a lot of smiles. And not only growers, but also a lot of our dealers are coming through here. And it's just been a great day to get back face to face. You know, we do business with our customers and dealers across the kitchen table. So being able to be face to face here in Louisville is just, is great. Um, I, I guess I would say there are a number of macro trends converging right now that you know, really good economics, replacement demand is really strong because you're coming off some hard times in 15, 16, and people want to upgrade you know, with new technology. So those converging trends are really creating a lot of opportunity here at Case H. But like I said, a lot of smiling faces here in Louisville. I drove by one of the dealerships just a few days ago and looked over on the lot and saw, to my surprise, a remarkable availability. I mean, I, I know there have been some struggles. Every company has uh, struggled with that in and out of agriculture, but I noticed more product. Yeah, I mean, it, I've been asked this question a few times today. It really is perspective. You know, there's, there's a really strong demand because of those macro trends I explained. But if you look at our demand and output compared to what we were doing a year ago or even two or three years ago, the perspective is incredible. So there is a lot of volume. We're really, you know, number one, we're focused on satisfying the customer arm in arm with our dealers. So fighting every day to make sure we can keep up with demand and fight through, you know, difficult times here with supply chain and post COVID. We noticed around that display of Case IH photos of farmers who also happen to be employees of Case IH. Marissa Riley, Director of Marketing with Case IH, talked with us about that. At Case IH, we're proud to say that we're built by farmers. In fact, Case IH employees, our dealers, and their families farm collectively more than a million acres across North America. I mean, just think about that for a second. It's incredible. So why should you care? What does that mean? Our equipment is designed, engineered, and built by farmers, which means that that passion, the creativity, the knowledge that they have on the farm, they're bringing that to work every day and really paying it off with equipment that's agronomically designed and more productive. And that type of sentiment is also what's going into partnerships like we have with country musician Lee Bryce. You know, if you haven't heard the song Farmer, that's based on the grit and passion of our employees and even words that we've heard them say. And if you haven't listened to it, make sure to go to your favorite streaming platform, listen to Lee Bryce's song Farmer. And Marissa shared with us, Mike, there should be much more to look forward to. We may see Lee Bryce again, we understand. Look forward to being with the Case IH folks at the 2022 Farm Progress Show. That will be in Boone in August of this year. Thank you, Max, for all your work down there in Louisville. We appreciate the opportunity to see just what's shaping up in the farm machinery industry as 2022 gets underway. And folks, I hope you were paying attention. Get your calendars out. Farm Progress Show 2022, really just around the corner, a few months until August in Boone, Iowa. Get those plans made.